Hi friends, good morning. This is Pradeep Shetty here from the Mindset Transformation Academy. And today I'm going to speak to you something about failures. Yes, how you need to take your failures. And I've uh, created a description over here, which is there on the screen. So I might be constantly looking into the screen so that uh, I can read that out to you. So this is, uh, consider this to not to be a video, just a session where I'm just uh, you know speaking to you. Just, uh, you can just listen on this and uh, try to grasp the most important thing from here. And under failures, I'm going to tell you about five different things under failure, means how it comes and how you need to face it, maybe in a couple of uh, you know, sentences. So let's dive in. So it can be hard for many people to achieve a mindset. So whenever I speak about, say, positive mindset, positive mindset, positive mindset, positive mindset, some people have kept me, see, this mindset guy has come. See, this mindset guy has done. So um, people take it in a different way that uh, about the mindset, thinking that uh, it's normal and it's ordinary. No, I always say that whenever uh, you are trying to build a home or a building or anything like that, it's totally depend upon your foundation. Okay. And we, uh, all of us, right from myself, we have been brought up through various environments uh, with the family and the background and the people around us. And in, maybe some people must have traveled different places and met different people due to their family being transferred. I mean, to say their parents being transferred to different places. Some might be from the defense field where they get transferred frequently and meeting a lot of people in and around the country or even abroad for the sake, right? If you are into some other you know, business or something like that. So everywhere you go, there will be, you'll be finding two types of people, one with the positive part, another with the negative part. Some might be good to you, speaking to you in front of you, but some might be doing all that, right? Gossiping things, yeah, you got it. So you need to be very, very careful with such people. So for that, you need to have a, a bulletproof, mindset. Yes, I'm creating a program uh, called the Bulletproof Mindset. It would be in the late in December this year. And it will be a great program for, I think, 12 months. We are designing it for 12 months program from January. So if you want to enroll, you can get in touch with me. Okay. Because this creating a positive mindset is first uh, erasing all the belief system. Uh, understanding the basics of mindset and erasing it and then trying to build a new uh, building just like you have an old house your ancestors house 60 80 100 years back they have built it and it's just you know falling apart now you need to remove that and put in a new foundation and build a new building correct so you need tons of things tons of accessories and materials and all those things and you need to really work on it you need to have a constant uh, uh, you know um, like a watchman you need to have a uh, movement, seeing what things comes in and what thing goes out. Just like if you see any IT company or any big companies which has a lot of important data, they have a very good uh, system that is the firewall system and all those security systems, cyber security, it comes under that. So you need to be very, very careful as somebody is trying to come in through trying to hack your computer or something like that. In the same way, my dear friends, in the outside world, there are so many distractions, so many negativity and so many things going on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, which you and I are not able to identify it very fast. The, once it comes, once we see it through our eyes or ears or something, only through the five senses, normally it comes through. And you, it really, uh, you really don't know when it has started impacting. Okay, just like a virus, when it gets into your computer by some means, maybe you have taken a pen drive from somebody, you put it into you know, the USB port, and after couple of minutes or maybe after a couple of days, you get that, you know, it start uh, acting in a weird way. Your computer starts acting in a weird way. You're trying to power it on and it's not powering on. Even if it's on, it's taking a lot of time to come into the main screen. So the final uh, you know, uh, uh, objective would be to do an operating system reinstallation, OSRI. Okay, I've done it a couple of times when I was working in my previous assignment with Dell and with the international clients we used to work and I have performed such things. So uh, you need to do, all of us on this planet, they need to undergo this OSRI, that is the operating system reinstallation of your brain, of your mindset, okay? Because in every equipment, normally there would be a reset button. You take the router you have at home, 
or any equipment, right? You will always, or the router and the switches we normally use in the networking, you normally have a reset button. So in the same way, you need to have a reset button for your mind. And you know that once you reset or reboot it, everything starts coming up automatically. You need to know that system. So today we are just going to talk about failures, my dear friends. <coughs> I'm sorry. So the turn your failures uh, into lessons. So whatever the failures you have in your world, outside world, it has not come to put you down or take you down or make you mentally you know, down or something like that. It has come, it is a challenge which has come like an exam paper in front of you and you need to work on it on a daily basis to get to the better man, okay? Ever wonder why successful people, they, you know, they put so much of emphasis on learning through failures. Okay, the real person is the one who works on his failure. Just like APJ Abdul Kalamji said that the, uh, you will be learning more from the failures of others. Don't try to read success books. Uh, he is successful. He said, learn to read the failures. Okay, go to the section. The uh, person must have written his autobiography about himself. And in that, there must be a section which said, I failed in this. Just go ahead and start reading that. You will get a lot of power and energy within that right after you read it. So accept your failures. Whatever your failure is, you need to go ahead and start accepting it, first of all, because until and unless you accept your failures, you're not going to reach your peak. We all of us have done some mistakes somewhere or the other in life. It might be in relationship. It might be through the friend circle. It might be through our work ethics or something like that. So everybody does a mistake, but only after you do some mistake, you really realize that, yes, I have done something wrong. So you need to accept your failures, whatever it is. Yes, you have done it. And next time you're not going to repeat it at any cost, come what may. So you need to be prepared for that. The second is don't let your failures consume you. Suppose you are a failure and people say that, hey, you know what, uh, Pradeep Shetty is a failure, he's a failure, he's a failure. But that doesn't mean that I need to put myself down. Because someone's opinion about you need not become your reality. This is Les Brown's quote. It says, someone's opinion about you, you know, Pradeep, you feel it does not become, need not become my reality. It's what I think is my reality. It's totally up to me, my mind, right? So start thinking that uh, uh, anybody's, you know, uh, the failure should not consume anything on me, on the inner side. It should not touch on the inside. The outside, yes, people might say so many things, but on the inside, I should be stable enough to face all the you know, challenges in life. The third is don't fear failure. When I started to speak in front of the camera or uh, do a podcast or the YouTube channel and everything, I thought what others, others would think about me. Just like, you know, lo kya kain, what people will think. But one thing I came to know from my mentors and various others after taking the coaching session from them that Pradeep, it, end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Nobody has the time in this world as of right now in this digital space, in this uh, digital era where people will be continuously be monitoring you, thinking people are going to say, even if you do or if you don't do, just like that uh, father and son are going along with a donkey. So even if uh, the son is sitting, people are going to tell something. Even if the father is sitting, people or villagers are going to tell something. Or even if both are sitting, People are going to tell. And even the fourth option that nothing is there on the back of the donkey. You know, they're going ahead with the donkey. Nothing is there on the donkey. It's both uh, father and son are walking along with the donkey beside, it, beside them. People are going to tell you. Okay. So please don't worry about uh, what people are going to say. And never think about failures as, uh, you know, in a fear factor. No, it's going to come and it's going to pass. Yes, during time, that time we do feel Oh, what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. So many thoughts, right? It starts running like a super fast train like Rajdani. But you need to be focused on your thoughts, thought patterns. Consistency is the key to success. That's what I keep telling all my, you know, uh, all my friends and colleagues that, yes, you need to be, you know, focused on consistency. When I started doing this YouTube video, I used to do once in a month, maybe that time early when I started, I used to do continuous. Then later I started to do once in a month. And then now I keep doing at least weekly once. But uh, my mentor, he keeps telling me, Pradeep, if you really want to be successful with just 30, 40 video, don't think your, your video will go viral and it will really affect or touch some people. No, you need to start creating videos continuously. 
right? Uh, don't think about that, you know, it's going to happen in a day. Just like uh, people who practice or get ready for Olympic, they don't do a practice of uh, only two weeks, four weeks, one year. No, they must be practicing all year long or decades together. They must be practicing and putting a lot of effort on that. So in the same way, my dear friends, you need to be consistent. Whatever you want to do, that five things, whatever you want to do, create a YouTube video, create a podcast, just like I'm just trying to tell for myself, creating a post, three posts a day, something like that. Create a, create a strategy, create a way by which you will be known to the world. Some people I can see in Instagram, they just have maybe one post and maybe a million followers. But I, I just tell them that what, what are they contributing to the world? What are they contributing to their people, right? And I can see some people who has who's contributed, they have a thousand you know, posts and they have only a couple of hundred followers. I would say you should never go by that. Just keep on contributing. You really don't know when that one, when that one post can take you to a different height, when that one gold medal can let you know who you are to this universe. Right. So you really don't know which one would be that. So just my mentor says uh, just by creating one or two or four videos, it's not going to help. I have a mentor for video making in the sense I've taken his course, but I can approach him anytime through email saying, you know, I have this issue. How can I do that? I have a voice trainer, a person who is taking care is from US and he helps me in my oration. He helps me how to narrate, uh, go on a low pitch, high pitch and all those things. I'm learning. Okay? I'm still not started applying, but I'm learning. I have that. I keep doing it. So the more and more you start doing and have great people in and around you to give you a feedback or something like that. So accept it. That's nothing wrong. And do, I would say, if you're going to a particular phase, suppose you are into business, just meet such people, uh, business people who have walked in your path. It might not be the same. Maybe if you are into mobile business, need not be the other person also is into a mobile business. Need not be, need not be. But the path and the strategy and the methodology would be normally the same, right? So just ask him, how you, did you come across few challenges? Maybe just try to ask them. So that is the key. So start developing few things, at least in a day, five, six things. You need to do consistently and move towards your goal. Learn from the failures of others. Yes, my dear friend, it's not only your failure who's, which is going to take you to the next step, but it is what your other's failure also will help you. Just like that is the reason we say you need to keep reading a couple of books, right? Because uh, that person, whoever is that, he has just written this book of 200 pages and it has an experience of 20, 30, 40 years. And you're getting this book for maybe 300 rupees or 500 rupees, this whole experience, isn't it a cheap deal? My dear friends, just start thinking in that way. He's just giving his total experience, life experience, that book of 200 to 300 pages in 300 to 500 or maybe even 1000 rupees. It's a very, very cheap deal. But it totally depends upon uh, what book you purchase. Not that you keep purchasing some storybooks or anything, just simply just uh, read books in your field. Just like for me, I have tons of books, more than 200 to 300 books on psychology. I keep reading it. I keep checking what practice they do, what she did, and all those things. I keep, you know, uh, having a continuous attention. The videos I watch, I watch only for the personal development. Why should I watch and you know uh, uh, about someone uh, shooting something or flying something or something like that? No. Just focus your mind. So wherever the uh, attention goes, the focus also goes to that place and you start be getting better at that particular place. In the same way, watching videos. I have six to eight people or 10 people whom I watch regularly on a regular basis because regularly or consistently because it's going to help me to develop the skill which I am going for, which I am looking for to become an expert in another five to six years. So start working on it, whatever you uh, really want in your life, just go behind it and learn from the failures of others. So this was a message which I really wanted to give you. And the reason being, normally, whenever the failure comes, we start looking here and there, maybe this doesn't work, that doesn't work. No, if you have really chosen that niche, whatever the niche you are into right now, and you're trying to fail repeatedly, maybe you're not doing something right. And remember, this niche should be something that even people don't pay you for months together, for years together, just like Napoleon Hill. He wasn't paid for his services to Andrew Carnegie, right? 
but he dedicated his life for 20, 30 years for that Think and Grow Rich Foundation, which he did and published the first book of Think and Grow Rich in 1937. So my dear friends, life is full, full of challenges. All these great people, whoever you see that today they, are, they have a multi-billion dollar business, they are going in Mercedes or having all the luxuries in life, you really don't know, my, you and I really don't know what they have passed through in their life, right? So please try to read such great personality books. You can subscribe to Kindle in 1,800 to 1,900 rupees. You get one year subscription and at a time you can read 10 books, okay? You can read 10 books in Kindle at a time. So you, you can read unlimited books in Kindle depending upon if it's available for free. So start doing it and start getting into the habit and uh, get these failures into your success. Make that, uh, that anger point Okay, your fire point, your, your point which will take you to that level, always having that burning fire within you, which will take you to the success. So thank you very much. Uh, this is Pradeep Shetty here from the Mindset Transformation Academy, your positive psychology coach signing off for today. If you really love this video, I request you to please, please, please share it with your friends and family members. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon over here towards your right hand side. Okay. And also you can connect with me on my Instagram handle that is Pradeep.2030, P-R-A-D-E-P-2030. -E -E you can also connect with me on Facebook, that is facebook.com Pradeep Shetty Mindset Coach. So thank you very much. And uh, thanks for listening to me and uh, uh, having a, you know, a lot of patience to go through this video. So do remember that failures is not an end to your life. It's just a starting or a stepping stone for success. So thank you very much. Do remember, change your mindset and change your life. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.